Oh, that flaming dog, I'll kill it! Oh, has he done it again? It's like living with the flaming Osborns. He's got to go somewhere. Not inside, he hasn't. Wipe up, Chesney. And don't use a tea towel like you did last time. Oh. That dog could do with a spot of crate training. Stuff that. It's going outside. Come on, come on. Oh, but Uncle Les, it's cold out there. And, and he ain't got a coat. Tough. Go on. How would you like if I came out of your house and did my business on your carpet? This is his house. Yeah? Well, it won't be for much longer if he carries on like this. Every time I come down them stairs, I'm stepping in something. Les, if we're the Osborns, yeah, well, which one am I? Bird with the pink hair. <laughs> oh, that yeah, bring you on one of my migraines. Don't you worry, Emily. I shall soon restore peace and quiet. Leave it to me. I have a way with dogs. So says the man who bumped off Rita's shih tzu. Ooh, the baby boy. <laughs> now, if you're a quiet, puppilacious baby boy, we'll make you captain of the Quiet Puppy Club. We will. We will, we will, yes. Oh, Norris says thank you. Thank you, Mr Schmeichel. You're a good boy. Hey, 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 what are you doing with that brick? You want stilts, novice? I'll have the RSPCA on to you, threatening a dog with a brick. I'm being educational. Come on, Smichael, let's go over to the Red Wreck. Yes, well, keep him on his lead. He's insane, that dog. Let him off and it'll be Princess Anne and Her Majesty all over again. Oh, Smichael, come. Come on, Smichael, come on. Come on, Smichael. Oh, you should see the filth over there, Emily. It's disgusting. Disgusting little presents all round the yard. And, and puppies grow up, you know. I mean, last week is now it's Frankfurters. Oh, thank you, Norris. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. No, no, thank you. You did it. Oh. Silence at last. <laughs> I think this called for a celebratory glass of sherry. I think you've missed your vacation. You really do have a way with animals. Well, well, did I ever tell you about that time I went to the safari park and that orangutan pinched my baguette? Well, maybe, but the blasted dog never stops barking. What do you want it to do? Moo! I want it to be quiet. You should be grateful. Barking dogs scare off intruders. Uh, yes, and play havoc with Mrs Bishop's migraine, as you're responsible for it's it. It's Chesney's responsibility. Ah, yes, yes, but who's responsible for Chesney? None of your business. Between the yapping dog and its neglected master, I, I don't know whether to contact the RSPCA or the NSPCC. You'll contact my knuckles with your nose if you're not careful, Doris. Come on. Ah, uh, I get off! Ugh. You're an evil hound of Satan! Useless. What are you doing with those steps? Shh. They were out because I was about to use them. Oh, I won't keep them a minute. I just need to shout at that filthy mutt over here. Oh, why? I can't hear anything. Well, that's funny. Neither can I. I distinctly heard something. Somebody's taking it in. And I suspect a ginger haired lad with a very poor school attendance record. OK, let's try again. Hey, come on, City, come on, City. I'm a football hooligan, and you're supposed to attack like a rock hard police dog. Or you could be a sniffer dog. Sniffer drugs? Ah, I'm going to put some flour in my pocket, and you find it, right? Just as I thought. Les, Les, Les I, I, I thought I heard you. It, uh... Oh, can't a man get any flaming peace? Well, this is quite important. It's about Chesney. What about him? Uh, it's for his benefit. There's no need to be hostile. What? He's been playing truant. Yes, yes. I, I saw him with that wretched dog in, in your sitting room. And how did you see that? Have you been creeping round, sticking your router in? Well, that's besides the point. What are you going to do about the boy? I mean, I'm, I'm sure the authorities would be very concerned to know what we know. Are you threatening me? 
No, 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 of course not. Good! Because I saw him off to school at half eight this morning. And as far as I'm concerned, he's still there. Now clear off. And if I catch you crawling around our backyard, I'll set the dog on you. Chesney! There's no point in hiding. I know you're in here. Doris saw you! Oh. Hey, up. Chesney! How did you know I were in here? You left some clues. Why aren't you at school? I packed you up with a bag of butties. I sneaked back. Oh, weren't you listening to me and your sister? Do you want a social services snatch squad booting our door in and dragging you off in the dead of night? Of course I don't. Then go to school. Go and Schmeichel. Oh, th th this can't go on, Chez. He's got to go. No, you're not taking him. He's my dog. We can find him a better home. Hey, Kirk will take him to the kennels tomorrow. No. He'll still be your dog. He can come and see you any time he wants. No, you're not taking him. He's mine. My own. My own dog. Oh, this is my fault. I should never have said you could keep him. 